Today we are going to upgrade my development NAS computer. This computer already has four 2TB drives in a storage pool within an IC Dock Express cage, and an 8TB drive in a Silverstone 3 bay rack. We're going to add two additional 8TB drives to the Silverstone rack today, to have all three bays populated. The two currently empty bays are all wired up for power and data, and just need the hard disks slid into place. With this Silverstone rack, adding additional drives is very straightforward, requiring no tools or retaining screws. You merely need to line the drive up with the guides and slide it in, closing the drive door to connect to drive. All the drives are controlled by a combination of two SATA cards and the SATA ports on the motherboard, allowing a total of 16 storage devices. So let's first have a look at the new drives. The existing hard disk is a Seagate Barracuda 8TB drive, and I decided to get two more of these as it had no problem with the original. It's important to purchase traditional hard disks from a company that packages them properly to prevent any damage in transit. And these drives were very well packaged indeed, both with anti-static wrapping and padded wrap surrounding them. And here we have both drives, ready to be slotted into a rack. As I said, the fitting of the drives is completely toolless and hassle-free. You merely have to line them up with the guides, push them home, and close the drive door. That connects the drive to the connectors at the back. And sliding the second drive in is even easier. And in it goes. So, that's the hardware modification actually completed. We can see behind the hard disk rack the RAID card that it's actually connected to. The cage has an integral fan at the back which helps to keep the hard disks cool. In the top right hand corner you can see the secondary RAID card. This will probably be the last upgrade done to this particular unit unless we're going to add any more 2TB drives at some point later. Ideally I'd like to add a graphics card, but we're kind of running out of room in this particular rack. Now that we have the hard disks inserted into the drive cage, we're now going to configure them in Windows. Now that we're signed into Windows, to make sure our drives have actually been detected, if you hold down the Windows key and press the letter X, and then we will pick the Disk Manager. We can now see as soon as we go in here that Windows has detected that there are in fact two new disks it needs to initialize. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these up as a storage space. So we won't initialize them in here we will go straight into our storage spaces. So we're going to storage settings and down at the bottom there's a manage storage spaces. We can see we have a storage pool set up already on this machine. And on this machine, just maximize this, we'll see there are indeed our four drives on this machine that are currently a storage space. So we're going to create a new one. So right at the top here there's a link to create a storage space. So we'll click on that and we're going to give this storage space a name. We'll call this one Quad Storage. Now 
where we can see we now have a new F drive on the list. And having created our storage space, we're now going to add some drives to it. We're now going to add our two drives to that storage space. And that's it completed. So as we have two 8 terabyte drives together, we can put the maximum size of this storage pool up to a figure closer to what we want. So we'll go for 6 terabytes. And there we have two storage spaces set up on this machine, one with 15 terabytes and one with 6. And if we have a look at our storage drive here, the F drive, this is now showing quite happily to have 6 terabytes of space. So this completes the upgrade of our Quad 4 box. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.